basically research involves the basic concept understanding what you studied in btech this gives you the good strong of your btech knowledge which will make to face the new challenges and to solve different problems to find the problems to solve the solution or you can align with industry interest where industry deals with several problems you can design or you can achieve something or you can find a new interesting path the most engaging part is when you are dealing with a particular domain you will become a expertise in that domain so that you will find the new problems and the way how to solve it you will find new new interesting things where you can collaborate and search in new domains you will find some new things this made me more interesting as per now my long term aspiration is to give the gate and enter into masters degree then pursue into your phd program uh recently nptel introduced the concept of uh, post bachelor fellowships for students who have at least a bachelor's degree uh i have one such student uh, from the first cohort working in my lab her name is taruni so this gives both me as a faculty as well as the students an opportunity to co-work on something for a shorter period of time of the order of one year and the students can get to learn some of the research skills and they can then decide whether or not they want to do a masters or preferably want to do a phd and really contribute to the research ecosystem in india so my masters project is on quantum computing and genomics i work with uh, a uh, quantizing uh, existing algorithm for alignment and parallelizing them so the genomic aspect of this lab that i work with really help me understand what i have to focus for my masters project which will help further develop the state of the art in this domain i think i had the best mentorship from professor karthik raman sir who under whom i was able to work for the post bac and i think the entire lab and professor himself motivated me to uh, look into the aspect of ai which i have a background in in the unknown domain which is biotechnology so i think their guidance and support really helped me um, to pursue uh, ai for uh, microbiome i think these pre doc slash post bac fellowships have been like really useful this pre doc fellowship gives them an exposure to see if they are cut out for research they can take a difficult research problem and spend a lot of time working on that problem one of my current students hari priya is uh, she's a finisher online uh, bs as well and she's been working on a very interesting problem with respect to trying to use machine learning to discriminate between different kinds of microbiome data sets and she's been doing feature engineering and uh, so on but the interesting point here is that she came in without much knowledge of biology and she's picked up the requisite biology required for this project and she's been able to make inroads into a potentially difficult problem she's also been working on other projects in the lab where she's been trying to understand models of microbial interactions and build models of microbial interactions and so on 